What are you doing? Hey, I'm filling up some tanks. Filling up some tanks? Yeah. We're at 25%. Utilizing your zero, zero G. hose. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a lot more manageable for me. It is a lot more manageable for everybody. With my little arms. <laughs> Yeah, it worked out pretty well. Where are we headed to? St. George. And 96 degree heat. More specifically? An Airstream rally. The first one we've been to. Yeah. For um, a World War II themed weekend with a hangar dance and flights on old planes and museums. Did you get a new job? <laughs> I was checking tires. <laughs> personalized tour tomorrow for those who want to have somebody who will take you around, tell you interesting stories about all the planes. He's worth listening to. <laughs> Hello, adventurers. Hello, adventurers, now that I've blown the dirt out of your eyelids. Um, Blair and I are in St. George, Utah. We're right at the little airport in St. George and we have about eight airstreams going that way and about nine airstreams going that way from our side view here. We are at the Airstream Rally, which is attached to an airplane museum and there's a bunch of World War II airplanes here. We're going to go check those out. We've got a little meeting here in a minute with the, the local Airstream chapter of the Wally Byram International Airstream Club. It was easy getting here today. It's warm out. It's super windy right now, so we only have our little side awnings open. It's probably 95 degrees out. Many down that way and down that way have their generators running so they can run their AC, but it's not uncomfortable here with the breeze. Um, feels pretty good to me. So we're going to check out some plains, check out some desert, meet some new friends, and um, hope you are doing well. Shirt. <laughs> what do you think, Blair? Thank you. <laughs> I think you wear it well. 
Okay, so down. Lantern. Lantern. He's gonna go on the I, flight. I like that. I like that flight suit. Yeah, it's doing great. You got one that fits me, which is amazing. Awesome. Fire it up. Get there, Blair. I don't know. A plane. A pretty plane. Look what we found. Yeah. Hi, Adventures. Blair and I are having dinner here with the uh, Wasatch Airstream Club. We are so fortunate to be a part of this group and have a wonderful time down here in St. George this weekend. And we are um, blessed to have the fellowship and friendship and share in airstream ideas and get to see what everybody has. So that's one of my favorite things. So if you're not currently a member of the Wally Byram International Airstream Club, you probably should be that, and join your local chapter. You can join multiple chapters. So if you spend certain times in regions of the country uh, or are visiting regions of the country, you can join up with other groups as they do meetups. Or um, It's a really fantastic way to gain knowledge in the airstream community and gain friendships and uh, get to see the local space because there's multiple people in this group who live right here in st george and have offered up uh, you should go see x y and z and tomorrow we're here to do some of that so let's go enjoy some dinner who may be unfamiliar, the plane behind me right there is the type of aircraft. So that's the J model, but the, the A or B model was what the Jimmy Doolittle, Lieutenant Colonel Doolittle used on the Tokyo raid, very beginning of World War II. Pearl Harbor happened, then they took Midway, and then we attacked the homeland via the this awesome aircraft back here. It was a morale boost for the United States and so many people joined the military and got war bonds and th that plane uh, started what success in World War II. Really amazing. You got taller. I got much taller. A step taller. A step taller. We're on the steps of the old Pioneer Courthouse in St. George, Utah. This building was built between 1866 and 76. And right behind it is the Daughters of the Pioneers Museum or something. And we're going to go check out a old Western shootout here in about 45 minutes. Yep. Until then, we're just going to hang around and walk around St. George and check out the town. 
most people go through St. George, they just drive on I-15 through and stop right on the highway, but the actual downtown part of St. George is pretty cool. Uh, so if you're ever passing through here and you've got a couple hours, go to the downtown part of St. George. Oh, he looks real dead. Candy Cliffs. It is uh, quite beautiful. Getting here is treacherous, but it's a beautiful place. Over here, these rock formations all look like peppermint candy, the swirls of red and white rock. So it's really, really beautiful. You can keep your space if it I don't want to go Candy Cliffs. Nope. Y'all can go see that. I'm going to hang out right here. That's right. All right, let's go back to the car. I got a lame duck. <laughs> She's decided the hike's over. Let's go up. Oh, you got our truck dirty. I feel good. I know. It was well worth it, too. So we're at the little parking area for Candy Cliffs. It's about a mile, a little over a mile walk out that way to get to the edge of the rock. The first three quarters of the mile on the trail are pretty hard packed dirt, and then you get into like deep beach sand. Then you walk out onto the cliffs, and you can walk out there and see the rest of it. But it's really pretty. Um, I think a sunrise or a sunset here with an orange sky would probably be yeah. way cool. But we got a puppy who is not playing today, so she got about a mile into it. And then we had to go take turns going to check it out and coming back and because uh, she was having no more walking that direction. She said, take me back to the car and give me some water. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah. Bring sunscreen. Bring sunscreen. This is mostly from yesterday, though. <laughs> residual. Give me all your love, give me all your love. 